In this video, we're going to take a look at some stereo isomers, and specifically, we're going to focus on conformational isomers. So before we get into what conformational isomers are, we need to define what stereo isomers are, and they are structures that have the same structural formula, so the same connectivity between atoms, but the atoms are arranged differently in space. And so there's a variety of different types of stereoisomers, uh, configurational isomers, which have a couple of types. And then, as I said, we're focusing on conformational isomers here in this video. So let's just get right into it. So conformational isomers, are forms of the same molecule that have different conformations, so that's where the name is coming from, because of rotation around a sigma bond, or if you remember, a sigma bond is a single bond. So one thing to keep in mind here is that around a single bond, we can have free rotation. So around each of these bonds here, uh, you can kind of picture that there's free rotation of those molecules. And so specifically, if you get rotation around these carbon atoms here, you can end up with different forms or different conformations of a substance. So this one in particular here, it's a 1,2-dichloroethane. Um, many different sort of forms of this is going to exist simultaneously in a sample of this particular substance or any of these substances that have these conformational isomers. Uh, these forms are interconverting constantly with each other and you can't really isolate any one particular form because no bonds need to be broken. So these isomers just exist in a variety of different sort of ways. You can see in this particular one, if we look at the chlorine atoms, for example, in one conformation, the chlorine is pointing up in one and pointing down in the other. And in the other one, the chlorines are both pointing up. We can draw an image looking along the carbon-carbon bond. And these look a little weird because they take the form of a picture like this, where the three lines represent atoms that are attached to the first carbon and then at the back, sticking out, are the other atoms attached to the other carbon. So in this first one, A, you can see if we have a chlorine pointing up and pointing down, we could draw it like this, and then the rest of these would be hydrogens. It's called a Newman projection. You don't really need to know the name, but just uh, kind of gives you a visual of what that looks like along this carbon-carbon bond. Now this is really energetically favorable because those chlorines are big. They want to be as far away from each other. And so this is quite an energetically favorable conformation. The other one where the chlorines are both at the top here looks a little bit different. Just draw this in quickly. And there we go. So this is the one where it's got two chlorines up at the top there. And this is what it's Newman projection would look like. Now these two chlorines are really close to each other in space and so this particular conformation is not as energetically favorable. So it's likely this molecule is spending more time in the first conformation than the second but like I said all of these different conformations exist and we can't isolate them because we can't stop a single bond from rotating around itself. One other example of conformational isomers, which is kind of neat, is the cyclical six carbon alkane. So it's called cyclo, which just means we have a ring structure, and then hexane, so a six carbon uh, chain. And the reason I say this one's kind of neat is because it does have a couple of conformations that takes some really neat shapes. And if you have the opportunity to take a molecular model kit and build these two, well, you build cyclohexane and then try and manipulate it into these two conformations without breaking any bonds. The first conformation is called boat conform conformation and it kind of looks like a boat, right? 
And then the second confirmation chair looks like a chair. And uh, so, like I said, if you get a chance to play with some model kits and build these structures, it's really fun once you kind of figure out the trick to interconverting between the chair and the boat confirmation without breaking any bonds. So that's confirmational isomers. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.